Here in Lusk, our own village, one of our own is keeping a tradition alive with his pony and trap. Tommy Dennis is a good new bird fella and gives his spare time and his talent to the delight of the community. He doesn't give speeches, he doesn't wave flags, but he enjoys the effect his pony and trap have on the village he loves. Tommy is the son of another great Lusk man, the late Joe Dennis. Well, uh, my father was into it, had horses. He lived the far side of the road. This was his hometown. He was into it. And then I worked with farmers years ago and they were into horses, like a few farmers around Rush, and we done done a bit of ploughing and that, and uh, worked on the land with that, yeah, doing the hay, that. So it just got into me. What I'm going to do, I'm going to start, uh, I'm going, I want to buy, I want to trap. It yeah, was my dreams. I got it, I collected it off, I met a farmer down the, down the road and he was using it on the land and he had different wheels on it. Right. And he just said, I have a thing here that's interested. He says, it's actually it's in the ditch. It's up to you to get it out. A tub trap. And that was over in the knoll in the back of a shed. Right. That's what the people used when they were going to mass years ago. That was the, you know, the walk horse so cart. They call that a Liverpool gig, just for two people going out for a spin. That was actually built in uh, Dulik, rebuilt. So what are you doing with it? See, I'm going to sell it. So would you sell it to me? See, I'd be delighted to sell it to you. Yeah, that's 1906, that's Victorian. Victorian carriage. This man has the right thing, stepping on a Victorian carriage. So we rang him anyway and we were talking to him. And Went on and went on. He says, yeah, have it. Have one here. So I'll send you up a photograph. So we sent it. So the young lad said, Dad, is that what you want? So that's it. So I go for it. So, so yeah, Paddy was his name. So Paddy uh, Handley from Limerick. So yeah, Paddy, um, when, when would you be able to bring it up? Would you be able to bring it up? So I'll bring it up towards them. Because says, oh, my dream has come through, but it's like winning the lotto. So we're here. Towards the night, this jeep turned around with a trailer. They went. Stephen looked at me, he said, is that what you want, Dad? So I that's it, that's it. Get it off that joke, so I talk after. So I get it off, open the ropes, and Paddy says, God, you're in the right hurry, so we don't trust you. <laughs> get it off the yoke, so I take your money. And uh, Stephen says, how long? Take your time, he says. So he, no, give him the money, so that's ours. <laughs> Hello, Susie. Going for a spin. Oh, she's very good, don't you? We give her a bit of a, a bit of a brush, and which she's very good anyway, you know. This is the part they like. Do they? Oh, they love you doing their tail. Sometimes. I often come out here in the winter nights and brush her dad, she'd nearly, nearly fall over. With the, with, the, with, the, with the light? Yeah. They love it. See? Stones, you can get caught in there. You make sure they're, they're always clean. I clean them at night time, every time you bring them in. Stop! And she's only stretching. Now, that's now, now. Stop, stop. Now. You have to lift them in a certain way that it doesn't hurt them. Come on, walk on. Stand.
See, it's in a hole there. And see, she'd push again. With the other one now, when it tightens up, it'll push again that. And right. the back legs would hold it. Go on, walk on. Go on, walk on. Go on, walk on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, try it out. I would have learned a lot of the horse stuff in there, you know. I did a, I did um, the Russells live around there somewhere. That's right, yeah. Come on, walk on. Go on, walk on. That's the Irish chanting cart then down there. And this is a, a back to back cart, you know. Two sit forward and the other sit back, you know, behind. That's what they call that one. Yeah, when you're there, uh, when, when it's not floating right on the horse's back, it's just bumpity bumpity bump. But when you have it, it's only it's floating in the air, it's just going like that. So you just sit back an inch, two inches. You know, everyone that gets up and you just say, well, move back a little bit. You know, people wouldn't realise that, that the difference it would make. They tell us that this is a back-to-back -back one, you know. Two people can sit forward and two can sit at the back and they're looking out the back. You'd have four people in it. And they'd use this for only more or less going to Mass or going shopping or that, you know, way back in, in the 18th, 17th century. It wouldn't be going round as much, you know, like if it were smaller wheels. They're all different sizes. You can see the difference, the, the size and that and that. And it's fairly straight. That one's a bit dish. You say it's dish, it's, they won't turn over or you're on a corner if you're going hard. The metal wheel was there before the, the rubber came in, you see, and it was very noisy. You know, and it was just solid and it was very bumpy. Where the rubber now takes the the spring out of it, you know, like. The tub is made out of ash. This would be all ash because they could bend it. And there's, there's two sections, you know, it's there. And it's made out of ash. And the bottom of it, was, it's, it's, it's the same as ash, but it's all in sections. When they made them years ago, that's all there was, just sections, you know. They're nicely balanced, you know. That'd be the, the Irish chanting cart now, that'd be heavier. Once he, when you lift that now, there's an awful weight on that. Yeah. But when you get up on the back of it, if you're on your own, you sit in the very back. So that's balanced. That'd, that'd nearly stay there on its own, you know. Yeah.